For many Native Americans, this white bison calf is a sign of things to come. The animal was born last month on the farm of Peter Fay. The Lakota tribe, it's very good. It means uh, great things should happen to all people, not just them. As many as 2,000 people will come to this farm in northwestern Connecticut next week. That's when elders from the Lakota tribe will give the calf a name in an elaborate ceremony. For religious reasons, cameras will not be allowed. The birth is very rare and some consider it miraculous. I mean, they say it's one in 10 million. Among the reasons this calf is considered so special is because it's not albino and neither parent was a beef cow, though a DNA test is pending to confirm this. A real bison white animal will last. They're not crossed with beef cows, so they're not, and he will only be white for a year. He will turn four different colors in his lifetime. And, and that's what a real bison does. And so he'll, he'll go back to where his color of his mom. Emil Hermeni Horses is a member of the Lakota tribe and a senior historian at Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indian in Washington. He says the white bison reminds many Lakotas and other Native Americans of their origins. We consider ourselves, you know, related to the buffalo uh, because of our origin stories of the buffalo uh, people. And I'm sure this, uh, through this ceremony, there will be some relationships made, even though we, we feel a stronger relationship, even though we feel that original connection with the buffalo. In one story, a white buffalo calf woman gives a sacred pipe to the Lakotas during a time when tribes were fighting over resources. One of the, the interpretations of that story was that so that the Lakota people would also learn to revere the women, uh, that women were sacred too, so that treatment of women was considered to be an important aspect of life. At the farm, Faye spends a lot of time turning away visitors, most of whom never get to see the animal. The white calf is not visible from the road, and he has no intention of turning it into a tourist attraction. But that doesn't stop a steady stream of people from trying to catch a glimpse. Well, I just think it's really cool because, like, it's something that you don't see every day. It's like um, an actual thing that, it's like a special thing that you can go see. It's an event. Faye usually raises the bison to slaughter them for meat, but he says he has no plans to kill the white bison and is concentrating on keeping the animal safe. Ted Chaffrey, Associated Press, Goshen, Connecticut.